Hey y'all, Billy Thomas here, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a very real world situation where we've extracted data from an SAP client, although I made up the data because we can't use client's data, and the dates are in a native format that is not what we want. So we're gonna use date functions to switch that data around and display it just the way we like it. Let's get to work. Well, we've got some data here. We've got 11 rows of data that we've extracted from SAP and it's put into two different fields. And the reason I put it in two different fields is I've seen that both ways where sometimes the extracts will come in from dates that are in var cars or character fields and other times they come in as a date. But either way, as you can see, as I've shown and displayed the data, it's not really the way we like it, right? It's uh, year, month, day, and this one's year, month, day with dashes. That's not how we like it. The way we like to see it is with month, day, year, with slashes or dashes, that's what we like, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the date as it is in this format, and we're gonna put it in a different format. Now, I am going to take the code that I am copying right now and put it into the comments so that you don't have to try to type this out because that can get difficult. But this is the code you need, whether it's in a date format or a text format to get it in sort of a US date format. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it over into my SQL. And I'm gonna basically just replace this your field here with the field name. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna take this and paste it here and execute it. Now take a look at it. Month, day, year with slashes. Now the secret sauce to go from slashes to dashes is nothing more than this format code. And if you Google like SQL date formatting, it'll tell you all the different formats that you can use. But for the US, it's most likely gonna be a 101 or 110. Now, let me grab this and just take the same exact field and just change it and put it as a 110 format. And now you can see that, oop, I need to hit output. All right, so that we can see this guy. All right, and then our first one is format 101. The second one is in the format, the date format 102, slashes and dashes. Now, it's the exact same code, whether it's a var car or a date. Let me demonstrate. So let me get rid of the ERSDA character field and replace it with the date field. Okay, so all we're doing is swapping out the field that we're interrogating and formatting. One was a var car, the other one is a date, and there you go, exact same code. SQL takes care of it, whether it's var car or date. Now there's one more thing I wanna show you that'll be super helpful, and that is what if you wanna filter on this, especially this char date, okay? So you gotta remember, when you're looking at that char date, it all, S, or all SQL knows is that it's a string. So anytime we're trying to do a where clause on that, we're going to have to format that where clause so that SQL can understand it in terms of dates. Let me demonstrate something to you. Let's say I wanted to limit this data set to everything that was created after January 1st, 2020. If we had a date uh, formatted field, this would work, but since it's text, it's not gonna work. Watch, one, one, 2020. And we actually have to say greater than or equal to. Okay, so that'll be everything created on or after one, one, 2020. Look, it doesn't work, right? Because it's seeing this as a literal uh, string character uh, and not as a date. So we've got to tell it this has got to be a date. Well, the way you do that, and again, I'm gonna text this code in here, is we're going to use this code right here. And what this says is cast that date, um, that date field that's character as a date. And then when I put in the actual date that I'm filtering for, I'm gonna cast that as a date as well. And check it out. When we do this and put it over here, and run it, now we get the limited record set. You're welcome. 
Listen, if you liked this video, if it's been helpful, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and share with others. Hope you have a great day.